Hey everybody, what I want to do today, since it's snowing and it's a bad driving day, I just wanted to practice some of my uh, winter shelter. Just doing a simple lean-to and haven't done one in a while and boys does it show that I'm out of practice. What I also wanted to do today was to test out the uh, firebox wood stove here. Now there's a lot of videos on cooking on the wood stove but uh, we haven't seen anything in the winter using it for the other purpose which is like emergency and survival. So what I've done here is set up uh, the uh, heavy duty reflective tarp and I've started up uh, a fire with the firebox and I'm processing uh, my Christmas tree. So uh, let's see how it uh, performs. So what I mentioned in my last demo video of the firebox here was that it seemed to generate a lot of heat. So we're here outside it's about minus two Celsius on a snowy day and I just uh, did a quick shovel here in the back but uh, you had a, an inch or so of snow, but you can see how much heat this thing was generating. I've been working on this uh, fire for about, oh, maybe a half hour or so as I'm uh, processing uh, the branches and trying to get uh, a piece cut here with my folding saw. So now I'm just uh, starting to get a couple of the bigger pieces in there and see how that burns. Well, I'm definitely feeling some of the heat from the stove here. Now, if I lift my hand here further up the shelter I'm feeling more of the heat coming at the top but I'm not really feeling it reflecting in the back now it is snowing and there is snow accumulating on the sheet here so I don't know if that has anything to do with it but uh, I got uh, my thermometer on me and we're going to take a reading uh, in a couple of minutes here to see at my level uh, if uh, what the temperature is. So about uh, a four to six degree increase where I was. Now as I mentioned before the heat's getting caught closer to the top here and uh, when I had it clip up to the top I had it well above 10 degrees Celsius. So obviously for this type of shelter the bigger fire or a long fire will do much better radiating the heat inside the shelter. The firebox did alright when I had it really stocked and I had about 6 to 8 inches of flame going over the box. Then I was generating a lot of heat but even with the embers here that I have left in the stove it's still kicking out enough heat but not enough to really get captured into the tent. So I'm wondering if I need another type of shelter to really take advantage of the confined space that the firebox have. Anyway, put down in the comments what you think, some ideas, and I'll see you next time. Alright, so we got the uh, stove filled up with some dead wood that we have, and uh, we're in the spot where there's lots of it. So let's uh, light this up and uh, see what it, what it does.